Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your end of December quick read. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card but more than anything i'm always going to give you guys the messages that i pick up intuitively i always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks in doing so it charges balances and aligns the energy for our reading i also meditate over the collective energy so again this reading is for cancer sun moon rising and venus individuals and as always i hope everyone's doing well so when i was meditating over you guys energy the song that i heard was work it out by beyonce i will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Um, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I, I seen the, the sun card, the, what was it? The sun card, the hangman, the ace of swords, and the seven of swords. So for some of you guys, you're needing to make a decision in regards to a love interest. For some of you guys, it could definitely be a Leo, someone rising Venus, and a visual. Or it could be regarding a situation that happened during Leo season. I'm here in August specifically, okay? Um... I feel like it's going to have you hanging in limbo because we did have the hangman. That's Major Arcana. You're, you're needing to decide whether or not you're going to move forward with this person or back away. But either way, it goes with the seven swords. That's liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak. And then also to have the ace of swords. Whatever this person is lying to you about, you're going to find out the truth. That's the ace of swords always is cutting through the bullshit. You're going to find out the truth. And, and I feel like you're going to find it out in a major way because the ace of swords in this deck, that sword is huge. So it's going to be something that's going to be, it's really going to shift a certain situation. Okay. So the way that I do the quick reads now is we go by way of the major arcana for your signs. So for cancer, we will be using the chariot. So I'm going to give you a really quick example. As a part of the deck, let's see. So you have major arcana in the world. Okay. So whatever card comes before, okay. And after that card, that will be the energy that I'm reading for you, okay? So when we get the chariot, whatever card comes before the chariot and whatever card comes after it, that will be the message that I'm meant to give you guys today, okay? And just really quickly, I already shuffled and all the cards are completely upright. Just seeing the queen of wands. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with Leo. Look at that. Three, yeah, and they possibly put you in a third party. Look at her. She's looking right in a direction. This queen of wands is literally looking right in the direction of three of wands yeah some of you guys are definitely dealing with a leo or something that happened during leo season okay yep blockages and it could have been in july and you found out about it in october okay so yeah let's see we're gonna go through this deck and we're gonna find your chariot okay this could be and you could be dealing with someone who is very wealthy you could be dealing with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, or they could have those placements in their chart. So let us find the chariot for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. There you go. And then when I stopped, stopped again on the Sun card. Somebody's definitely doing, whew, definitely doing with Leo. Look at this. And, and this person's lying. Look at that. <laughs> you got Leo. You got Leo. And then you got the moon. You have three major icons back to back. Okay. And this is in my pursuit of finding the chariot. Strength card, Leo. Sun card, Leo. Right in the center, the moon. And I told you guys, Cancer, you're going to find out because look at that moon. Now, the moon is Pisces, but also Cancer. I, you're going to find out because look at that, that crab. You are the crab. It's coming to the surface. You can, you're going to find out about this situation. Yes, a lot of you guys are dealing with a Leo or something that happened. To... Look here. You're dealing with a Leo. This person was definitely a liar and manipulator. Look at the next card. Knight of Wands. Playboy, Playgirl, and Tarot, Two of Cups. You, This is someone that you were in a relationship with. So for a lot of y'all, this is definitely some relationship stuff, for sure. I can't even get through to your car before we um keep seeing all this energy. A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with Leo. And you're all the way in the back. So this could have been something that happened a couple months back, is what I'm picking up. We still haven't ran into it. Okay, here we go. I see you guys sticking out right here. You have the chariot. So the very first card before, look at that, the death card. That was an ending. Or it's going to be an ending because that's major. This is major arcana. And then you guys are watching me do this, right? Seven of swords. You're going to find out. This will is going to turn in your favor. So whoever was lying, okay, 
The wheel is turning in your favor. You're gonna find out. You're gonna find out about the situation, okay? Wow. Okay, so Cancer, right here you have Major Arcana, the chariot. That's your energy. Right next to Major Arcana, the um death card, Scorpio. And then you also have that seven of swords that I told you I seen. Lie, cheat, and manipulate a sneak. Some of you guys could have ended a relationship during Scorpio season. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, someone rising Venus individual. I feel more so like this was an ending. Because the way the cards look on the table, this is how it looks on the table. He's looking in a direction. The seven of swords is looking in the direction of the cherry and in the direction of the um, death card. So there could have been an ending during Scorpio season. It could be involving Scorpio also, but I feel like something really, something really went down during Scorpio season. Okay, let's pop the deck so we can shuffle. There was some type of third party situation. You got the Six of Pentacles. Someone who's juggling two people, breadcrumbing, possibly both parties. And then you have the Temperance card. So for some of you all, if you do not know about the situation, you could be finding out during Sagittarius season. Because the Temperance card is Major Arcana for Sagittarius. Also, this is about patience and healing. And I feel like you're doing some healing if this already happened because you see there's cups right there, right? You are water. He has one foot in water, one foot on land. So some of you guys are finally becoming grounded after this situation. Wow. Okay, these are two different decks, right? He has one foot in the water, one foot on land. He has one foot on that step, one foot on the, you know, on the very platform down there. So it's like this person already has one foot out the door. So for me, that message is some of you all are already finding out or found out and they don't even know how close they are to getting booted is what I'm hearing. Yep, just seen a tower card, yeah. Some of you guys, again, the tower's major arcana for Aries and also Scorpio. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Scorpio or something that happened during Scorpio season. Okay, so let's get a clarifier for the death card as well as the seven of swords. I told you guys earlier on, I heard, I seen that seven of swords in the pre-shuffle. <laughs> and then the Beyonce song, Work It Out, this person is going to want to work it out with you. But there's some lies. And they're telling you that they want to work it out, but they, it's, like, it's like they haven't left some manipulative ways behind. Yeah, because the death card is about transformation. But it's a lie. Because again, like I said, the way I'm picking this up, the way the cards are on the table, you see how they're going to tell you that they've, they've changed their ways. They've transformed. You see how the seven of swords is looking in that direction? But you're going to see straight through that bullshit because you see how he the, the chariot, you guys are coming straight. They're looking straight towards us. He's looking in the opposite direction. And then with this one, you can't even see their face. You know what I mean? So this person is telling you that they've changed. And I don't believe that they have. It's, it's a lot of lies involved in this situation. Bottom of the deck. Yep. Li Ooh, lies, lies, lies. Okay. So you had a king of swords. Again, swords is always communication and also the mental. Sword down, that's no. Sword up is just that sword is down. Communication. Whatever they're telling you is a lie. I'm telling you. Lie. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Summer, Rise, Venus. Definitely for sure. Because the death card, that is Scorpio, but he does have a sword here. So for some of you all, you could be dealing with a water uh, air sign. You're going to find out the truth. Okay? Bottom of the deck, you have Major Arcana, the High Priestess. Again, another card of Pisces. And for some of you guys, it could be a Gemini. This is Roman numeral two, but it looks like the Gemini symbol. Their first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, C, or U. I'm hearing W also. Let's get a clarifier for the death card for cancer. <clears throat> Someone rising Venus individuals. This person, um, what's so crazy is that, th yeah, okay. So I'm looking at this also. I always tell you guys, anytime we have cards where they have either a hood or a face shield, like some type of armor where you can't see their full um, figure, it's secrets. He has that hood, there's secrets. He has this hood on, there's secrets, sneakiness, sneakiness, trickery. This person is lying about some stuff and you're going to find out. And they didn't think you would find out. She's blindfolded. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, a Gemini. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, because you got the water in the background. <coughs> excuse me, oh my goodness. Yeah, somebody's lying. Because now the message doesn't even want to come out. Mmm. Somebody may get choked up when you catch them. It's going to catch them off guard. <coughs> yeah, because I'm just randomly getting choked up. Okay, so let's get a clarify. For, and then one flew on the floor. It flew under my chair, so I didn't see it. You guys know I don't pick up cars off the floor. 
what I say. You guys are watching me. <sighs> so, you have the death card being clarified by the three of cups in reverse. I said this person is going to come back and said they, they've changed their ways. Death card transformation. They're lying. There's still another party involved. <coughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. So, even the choked up part, you could be getting choked up once you find this out. Because you're going to find out. <coughs> Something could have happened in November. Okay, yeah. Ooh, okay. Because you have cups right here. Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio. Scorpio. So in November, during Scorpio season, you could have found something out. Or you could have found... If you didn't find it out, you're going to find out. And you could have found out this. You could be finding out that something <coughs> took, took place in November. Yeah. Because now I'm getting choked up. Like the message does not want to come out. <clears throat> so this person so for some of y'all you don't know yet you're gonna find out because <clears throat> the high priestess that's secrets that's secrecy <coughs> excuse me yeah some of y'all are gonna get choked up about it makes sense will yeah will of fortune in reverse yeah <clears throat> again some of you guys are gonna be finding out some of y'all don't know yet but you're finding out <clears throat> you have the seven of swords again live cheater manipulated sneak and then you have this devil figure right here holding like this compass right this devil in major arcana the devil is capricorn so december january is capricorn season in western astrology so for some of you all this at the end of december early to mid january you're gonna be finding this out and this is the card of Leo, again, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. Strong Scorpio, strong Leo resonance here in your reading. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that's why I said that it's going to be an energy of being choked up because both of your clarifiers <clears throat> are in reverse. Because upright, the three of cups could be celebrations, coming together, anniversaries, parties, you know, bonding. In reverse, especially with this card, I'm telling you, you're going to find out about some type of third party. You're going to get choked up about it because you thought that this was the one with the Wheel of Fortune, but it's coming up in reverse. Clarifying the Seven of Swords. And look at that. He has his back. He's walking in that direction. So this person is telling you that they want to come back towards you, but they're, look, they're, they're sneaking. So they're dealing. They're dabbling with two different people. <clears throat> wow. And I'm telling you, I literally got choked up. I'm also hearing that this person may get choked up and, and or... It's portraying to be all worked up about the situation. And I'm saying, you know, acting as if, because again, Seven of Swords lie, she didn't manipulate a sneak. Something, yeah. Okay, so this person could be dealing with a May Gemini. Okay, because Swords, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. He's holding five Swords, and then there's two right here of the seven. So this person could still be dabbling and dealing with a May Gemini. Because remember, we had Gemini references several times. This person's still dealing with somebody else. <clears throat> it's what I'm picking up. Again, I'm going to say, if you didn't find, some of you all could have found out about it in November. And then for others, you could be finding out December, January because of that devil energy. Like they may have said that they were done with this person, but then they reverted. Okay. Because you got the will of fortune in reverse. So they may have moved away at one point and then they turned back around and reconnected with this person. Because yeah. For some of y'all, because look, he's, he's, it's like, which direction does he want to go in? He or she, which direction is this person going in? You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like at one point they may have cut this person off because the sword is down. And, but then they're returning back to this person. Because as, again, as he's laying on the table, look at that. He's facing a direction. And it's, it's strong, strong sword energy. So if you're not, if this could be you. You could be returning back to a air sign. Or your person could be returning back to an air sign and they're lying to you about it is what I'm picking up, okay? So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.